Yeah, good, good team <coughs> win. Uh, tough to win on the road. Glad uh, came down here and competed. wasn't perfect, but competed and got a win. You got a bunch of guys back on defense tonight. Is how much of a difference did you yeah. feel like that made? Helped helped a ton. Noble Thomas and Coop coming back, and you know we had to rotate a little bit, but uh, that was huge. I mean, I give credit to Coop because he did not practice much at all all week. We weren't even certain he was going to be able to go. Felt like a Friday had a good chance, but again, Friday's a limited kind of practice, so those guys were huge. Um, Seventy-eight yards through three quarters. What, what, did, what did you first? What did you think of the first three quarters of your defense? Oh yeah, really good. I mean, because we gave them five points uh, offensively. Really, we turned the ball over in the red zone and it held them to a field goal, and they bang it through. And then obviously, when we got the penalty on the extra point, the shotgun snaps over the QBs. So they played awesome. Obviously, we want to finish a little bit better in the fourth quarter, but they played dominant defense for three. How significant was that touchdown before the half? You know that was that was huge in, in a lot of ways. I mean, separating it, getting two scores like that. Uh, DJ makes a great throw. Uh, the punt return from Ant, holding them to that type of field position, forcing them to punt, and then the return uh, that was huge. What, what were you thinking there with 57 seconds? They've, you've got two timeouts, and they're at the four. Are you thinking what you're talking about halftime at that point? Because I mean, not yet. Pretty no. much can run out the half. You, you know, well, you're thinking, how are they going to play this out, right? Are they going to run this clock, or are they going to be aggressive with it? They were aggressive. They dropped the ball on second down. They probably should have kept the clock going. It didn't. So then third down, run it. We're going to call timeout, and we got a good opportunity. There's been a couple times this season the offense has kind of been a little bit more stagnant, and Aiden Childs has come in and kind of giving you guys that spark. How has he honestly grown right before your eyes this I season? Know. He did. I mean, he came in. We put the ball on the ground second series, so that series is really pretty short. But he did. He came in, uh, scrambled a little bit. I don't think he had a completion on his drive, but that QB draw from I don't know, 20 yards out was explosive. Has really? there been any discussion at all about playing him another series? We talked a little bit about it, but again, where DJ's at and how hard he's worked and what he's been able to do. I think DJ could have gotten more help. Again, he had twice we fumbled the ball and some drives. And, and so, good. look, we like where Aiden's headed. We really do, but we're really confident with DJ. The physicality you guys show, how, how is that helping you at this point in the season? Yeah. Smash it like that. yeah, it helps us, especially on, in the run game and finishing games, uh, that type of thing. We want to be physical on both sides. I thought our, our secondary challenge was physical. I was pleased with the D line getting around the quarterback. This guy's a good player, and and so physical teams win the game most of the time. Were you surprised they didn't onside kick? Yeah. You know, you never know. They had three timeouts, so you kick it deep, field position wise, and then you're counting on a counting on a stop. Was there more of an intention tonight to run the ball and? Maybe try to keep them on the sideline a little bit. Yeah, we wanted to sustain the drives, keep that offense on the side. I do think the run game was some good. They had some different scheme that it took us a while to sort out. They were getting in the backfield a couple of times. Um, but we we'll always want to be able to run the ball, make it physical. And then when you're playing an offense like this, yeah, it's better when they're on the sideline. First half, DJ was sacked three times, obviously a little bit uncharacteristic by the offensive line. How much do you guys feel like you missed Jake Leffingood, and how did you guys adjust in the second half? Yeah, Jake's a good, really good player, and we love him to be out there. I do think Tanner steps in and, and plays solid at center. I don't think that was a huge factor on the sacks. I give Colorado some credit. Uh, again, they tweaked a couple of schemes. We got to hold the ball a couple of times where we got to block it a little bit. Coach, uh, the, the game plan would be the stop store. <laughs> But there's one thing to say it, and one thing to do it. What did you do that you became so successful without sacks? Right. You know, I thought we tackled well to try to get him off the field. We did flush him off of his timing a decent amount, where he had to try to extend the play and and all of that. Again, we did that for three quarters. You're not going to hold this guy down, and I think you almost had 200, 200 yards passing in the fourth quarter. You talked about it for three quarters. You couldn't be more proud of your defense. But in that fourth quarter, it's the second week in a row, 14 points in that fourth quarter. What are you seeing that's just. I felt a little bit, you know, we talked about some of these DBs that got back and they were limited through practice. I think, you know, they were getting gassed a, a little bit. And they got some playmakers. I mean, again, Hunter makes a huge play down the down the field. We've got to get around the quarterback more. He had too much time. What did you think of that no call pass interference kind of you know, that, that led to their second touchdown? Yeah, those things, I mean, especially on defense, very rarely do you get those calls. I again I thought Jaden Robinson was in good position on the earlier pass interference that didn't didn't go our way. Do these wins after after losses like last week? Do they feel a little more significant just because you don't want to go into a slide at this point in the season? Yeah, or do they, I don't know, it's just big. another win? Or? It's No, it's big. Any of these wins are, are big, especially you get toward late in the year, in November. These games count in a, a huge way. Uh, coming off a, a tough loss and then going back on the road against a good team and getting a win, it's huge.
How cute, again, I'm going to kind of read it. How cute, on the, how cute was this to get this win knowing that you're heading back home for the next two weeks? Stanford and number five, yeah, Washington. Yeah, big games. The more, more games you win, the bigger the games get as you go along, and we, we kept that going with this this win tonight. How unusual was it for you to see your opponent for the week changing their offensive calls and stuff did, late before the game? Does right. it change how you plan because you watch something different? You know, we found out kind of late, uh, so not not a ton. I mean, at that point, and again, they've they've had a season, and so you're following the tape, and so that wasn't a major factor on what we decided to do defensively. What the, can you can you um, walk through the decision when when you get the when you get the half the distance the goal after the after the PAT? Yeah, that's a little bit. Two. Yeah, it, it, there's analytics chart and they're talking about it and where the the score was. If you, you take one, if there's defensive penalty, and again, I feel really confident on a one and a half yard line to double our points. And I think we walk in the end zone if the snap's executed. We're good. Let's go.